Ashley again. Welcome back to Circle Time. Come sit on the carpet. Let's get started. Hello to everyone. And how are you today? We come to our Circle Time to laugh and sing and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're only halfway up, we're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so you do something for me. 
I want you to close your eyes, put your hands over your eyes, and I want you to tell me, can you see anything? No? Hmm, you can't see anything. Can you hear still? Yes. Can we feel our fingers on our faces? Yes, good. So we can't see, but we can hear. We can still feel. Good. Okay, open your eyes. Some people can't see at all, even when they take their hands off of their faces. And they're blind. And that's where our story starts today. It starts with a man that was blind. He couldn't see anything. And he was sitting on the side of the road and he couldn't see the flowers around him. He couldn't see the sky above him, but he could hear something. He heard a, the sound of someone walking. He heard them walking. right there by him. If you couldn't see anything, but you heard someone walking and then they stopped right next to you, how would you feel? Would you be interested in what was gonna happen? Surprised? Maybe a little bit nervous. But then, remember we talked about how we couldn't see, but we could still hear, we could still feel. He felt something cold and wet. What do you think I have right here? You see that? Mud. He felt something cold and wet going across his eyes. Now, I want you to think about how that would feel. If you were sitting there and you couldn't see, but then you felt somebody, someone put something cold and wet across your face. Would you be a little surprised? I would. So he felt this cold cold and wet going across his eyes. And then someone said, go and wash it up in the water. Do you know who told him that? It was Jesus. Good. Jesus was there. And Jesus told the blind man, go and wash the mud off your eyes. And then after he did that, do you know what happened? The man washed his face and he opened his eyes and he could see. He could see. He could see the flowers around him. He could see how blue the sky was. He could see children playing. How exciting that must have felt for him to not be able to see anything. And then now he could. Well, what happened next was that the man went and he went to the village and everyone wanted to see this man. And they said, aren't you the man that couldn't see? And the man said, yes, I was blind, but Jesus made me able to see. He took my blind eyes and made me able to see. Now, friends, can you do that? Can you make someone able to see? I can't do that, but who can do that? Jesus can, because God said so. Is that not amazing? Amazing. Friends, this story is just one of the ways that Jesus shows just how much he loves us. He makes miracles happen just for us. Isn't that amazing? And this man carried Jesus in his heart wherever he went and told all the people that he saw how amazing Jesus is. Now, I bet you you could do something like that too. I bet you that you can carry Jesus in your heart and go and tell everyone that you speak, see, everyone that you speak to about how awesome Jesus is and how he can perform miracles. We just need to keep them in our heart. Right? Was that a cool story? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for seeing me today, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.